Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Persona 3 Portable. This is Caffeine Gaming, and last time we have a new party member, Shinjiro. I don't think he's here yet. I don't remember. Oh, it looks like he is. Look at this. I've been waiting for this day, Shinji. I'm ready for battle now. Right now, I've in fact. You're as hot-headed as always. Well, you better not fall behind. I'm gonna take it easy for today, but starting tomorrow, call me whenever. I'm truly glad to have you back, Shinjiro. But I can't help wondering what motivated you to pick up your evoker once again. Something must have affected you profoundly. I won't ask you now, though. I appreciate that. Maybe someday I'll be in the mood to tell you. Hmm. Alright, well, uh, we're going back down to the first floor because we're not dealing with them today. Food Channel will be introducing you to another popular food. Last year, the meal was consomme soup, is that right? Conso... Consomme soup. What will it be this year? Coming up after these messages, today's special report will be on apathy syndrome victims. So, yes. Well, we're hanging out with Koro Maru today, so let's do that. Arf. Arf, indeed. Naganaki Shrine. Oh, again? Woof. Koromaru seems happy. Huh? Koromaru suddenly started growling toward the shrine. You hear voices. I heard this place is totally haunted. Come on, let's go in. No way, I'm scared. You're up to something funny, aren't you? Damn it, it's locked. Guess we'll have to break down the door. Hmm? Someone's trying to break into the main temple. <laughs> Bark! Koromaru darted toward the voices. Yeah, what's with this dog? Apparently, Kromar is still mad. Where's the cops in the pound? It's their job to kill off stray dogs. Oh, whoa, no, no, no. You finally caught up. Uh, isn't this a crime? You can say anything you want here. Huh? Stay out of this, you brat. Uh, again, you can say anything you want. I'm gonna say time to call the cops. What? What's her problem? Come on, let's just go. Huh? Hey, wait. The two left. Aw, oh, Koromaru is mad still. Koromaru is on guard as he watches the two leave. You wanna say, it's alright now? Woof! <laughs> Koromaru is wagging his tail. In any case, you seem to have done your part to protect the shrine. Arf. And Koromaru is nuzzling you with his head. You feel as if Koromaru is thanking you. Uh, nothing else to this one, guys. <laughs> Just, he's a dog. I don't know what to tell you. Woof. Kromar was tugging you on, so you decide to continue walking him. Okay, well. Let's get going here. No, wait, no, not yet. This is the Velvet Room music. Good morning, this is Theodore. There is a human, one of them, I think, wandering around Tartarus. Please carry out a search and rescue. Goodbye now. Okay, let me quickly talk about this because we've already finished this last layer of Tartarus, but you need to uh, rescue this person by um, September 5th, so two days from now. Just just a heads up. Good morning. You may have already heard the this on the news, but the number of incidents have increased comparing to those during the last full moon. Uh, do we know why? I do not know. We will just have to remain alert at all times. The full moon is in like three days at this point. All right, I'm just gonna click through this, um, or two days, I guess, according to that. Uh, Fuko wants us to hang out. And Sayori, who got smacked last time, if you remember correctly. Oh dear. All right. Let's talk to some people here, first of all. Were you listening when she was talking about the cultural festival? Uh, no. We're running a cafe. A cafe, for heaven's sake. It's so typical. Why don't we do something fun? It's like a heavy like a heavy metal cafe. I have inspected the entire school, but I do not locate anyone suffering from apathy syndrome. Should I conclude they are absent? She is still far from passing as a human. It seems she is unable to understand ordinary feelings in conversation at the moment. If she were able to do that, you may be able to create a bond with her. Eh, let's talk to this guy. It must suck to be the new girl. All the guys hit on you and pressure you right away. It must have sucked for you too when you transferred in, like I guess. Uh, I agree with that. Uh, let's go ahead and head out to the hallway here. We're gonna hang out with Fuka today. But first, you saw Masura Senpai in a bathing suit at Yakushima? Did you get any pictures? I'll sell you one for 1,000 yen. 1,000 yen each? 
But fine, that's a bargain for what they're truly worth. I need three copies of each. One for me, one for my records, and one to show other people. Hand them over! Don't toy with me or I'll sign up for the revenge website. Request website. Oh my goodness. I heard from my friend that there are going to be cafes and stuff at the culture festival. My club doesn't do that kind of stuff. It looks fun though. But aren't those cafes going to be the ordinary boring kind? That's so dull. They need to have some kind of twist to them. Huh, I hope someone comes up with a crazy idea. Um, now that happens in Persona 4. All right, let's hang out with Fuka today. All right, we're going to cooking club, so let's let's do this. Cook on high school, home economics room. Hey, I've decided what we should make today. Um, I don't want you to watch, so can you make something different? I'm sure that you'll be able to make anything with your cooking skills, Katane-chan. You should try making one of the sweets you made previously. Um, we're gonna make sweet fries because we use in those quite a bit. But you can make anything you want there. They came out pretty well. And we got two sweet fries. Huh? Who goes working intently on something at a desk away from you? Done. Look, oh here, look, Tony-chan. Fuka presented you with something that looks round. It seems to be a rice ball made with flavored rice. It smells good. You decide to try eating it. It's edible. The combination of ingredients and flavors is good too. Actually, it tastes delicious. Uh, how is it? Uh, you want to say you really did your best? Huh? Oh yeah. Thanks. Fuka seems happy. I thought that there would be no way I could mess up making a rice ball, so I did a lot of research. The more I looked into things like what salt, seaweed to use, I got more and more into it. I got so excited when I was doing my research and even more excited when I was making them now. I think the most important thing is the feeling of wanting others to enjoy what you make. I think because of that I was able to make this taste good. I wonder if this is what they mean when they say cooking requires love. I'm so glad that you like it, Kutani chan Fuka lets out a heartfelt laugh. Alright, so she actually made something without killing me this time. Way to go, Fuka. I'll make something that's even better next time. All right, I'm gonna keep trying harder. All right, well, way to go to Fuka. I'm glad that she uh, she did that. Hey. I haven't introduced myself yet, have I? I'm Shinjiro Aragaki. Don't worry, I got your back. Um, There will be a full moon the day after tomorrow. I'm sure another shadow will appear, so please be ready. Well, first things first, let's talk to Shinjiro here. I'll join you guys. I used to be a member of C's and I'm your senpai, so you can count on me. Oh, well, I'm, I'm glad. Today's Kantanugi's word is Hoshona. Stretch and say Hoshona. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. Uh, Hoshona means tough. It's tough when someone like you like tells you Hoshona. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. That's all for this week. Back to the news. Sorry, guys. Don't let Ephesus syndrome or the hot weather get you down. See you next time. It's time for tonight's news. First, we begin with a report of another missing person. Uh, Riko Makita, 33, an office worker in Manatoku, has been reported missing. Police are searching for leads and ask the public for assistance. All right, well, she wandered into um, Tartarus, but we're not gonna rescue her today. Instead, we're gonna hang out with Ken. She'll be fine, no worries. All right, you, rush you both rushed in just before closing time. Thanks for the food. Ken begins eating his sweet and sour pork he had ordered. He carefully pushes the bell peppers aside to reach the meat. Uh, you wanna say, what do you wanna say here? You wanna say, you shouldn't be a picky eater. Huh? Hmm. Oh, sorry. The way you said that reminded me of my mom. Ken laughs feebly. Hmm. Ken seems somewhat uncomfortable. Should you try to talk to him about something? You can say either one of these. I'm gonna say, uh, how's school? Um, it's okay. I do all right on my test and I have people to talk to. It's nothing out of the ordinary. Ken sounds indifferent. Hmm. Should you try changing the subject? Um, what's popular at your school? Um, I think they play games. Also, I think there's a television show called Featherman Arn that they like. It's an action program. Last week, Cox snuck into the enemy base and planted a missile guidance system, but the launch site, the launch switch fell into the enemy hands, so Swan proposed a battle of riddles. Ken's eyes sparkle. Uh, um, that's just what I heard happened. I kind of like action stuff. The movie was fun to watch. Ken falls quiet and begins eating again. Do you watch any TV shows, Katane-san? You want to say I like action shows too. Huh? Really? 
But you're an adult and a girl, so Ken seems very surprised. Oh, it's going to get cold. Ken begins eating to his heart's content again. <laughs> oh, so trying to connect with a 10 year old. Just throwing that out there. You're like 16 and he calls you an adult. This is a lot. Can I leave the bell peppers? <laughs> Doesn't like bell peppers. I don't really blame him, but I like bell peppers. As a kid, I didn't though. I didn't like much of any vegetables growing up. What's up, dude? There's a full moon tomorrow. You remember? But this time will be tougher than the last. That's what I heard too. There's only four shadows left. Maybe they're getting desperate. Or maybe the next one is just insanely strong. Oops, <laughs> I shouldn't jinx it. Well, we can handle it. All right, well, let's get going here. Lunchtime! All right, gonna go ahead and click through this again as well, so don't worry. Uh, Yukari wants us to go out. And who else do we got here? Oh, huh? Well, do you have time today? Uh, yeah, sure, I see. I uh, have something to tell you. Come see me after school if you're free. So yeah, Akihiko is acting strange today. Uh, I think this is the first time we see a different conversation from him. All right, well, let's go hang out with some people. Oh no, we're not going to do that. In front of the Tatsumi Port Island Station on Junpei's way home. Yo, Chidori, how's your hand? <laughs> I don't see anything, I, not even a scar. Did it heal that quickly? <laughs> hey Junpei, what do you do to make yourself feel alive? Uh, I don't know. Breathing, I guess. <laughs> nice job. You know, I never really thought about it before. I <laughs> like her face. How about you, Chidori? Is that why you draw? Maybe. But most of these are just scribbles. I don't understand myself very well. I see. To tell you the truth, there is one thing that makes me feel alive. <sighs> when I get to play hero, Oh god damn it, Junpei. In the darkest hour, unknown to all but a few, the chosen ones stand against the forces of evil. Oh Our no. Junpei fights to protect the world from these terrifying monsters. <laughs> well, you get the idea. That's when I feel most alive. Oh no. Um, <laughs> you're supposed to laugh. So, do you fight all alone? Hey, I, I, I was just kidding around. You fight during a time that no one knows about, right? So then, no one knows what you've been doing either. That means you'll never receive any recognition. Red flag, red flag! I'm impressed. I didn't know you're that kind of guy. Red flag! For real? You actually believe me? Okay, so she basically says exactly what the dark hour is here. And he doesn't register that um, we have two other people that also know about the Dark Hour that are our enemies. Tell me more. Oh, God. You really want to know? No, okay. no. But don't tell anyone, all right? Junpei. Mm -hmm. You see, there's this special power called Persona. And only those who have it can defeat the monsters. Junpei. That's what I meant by the Chosen Ones. Oh, my God. My friends are fighting, too. And ever since I joined them, we've been kicking some serious ass. Sounds like fun. Are you the leader? Because it sounds like you're pretty strong. Oh, don't throw me under the bus uh, here. Yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. I, I, I guess you could say that. He was fairly jealous that he wasn't the leader. So now that he's trying to, you know, woo a girl. I mean, <laughs> without me, things would just fall apart. I shouldn't use you ever again. Someone's got to be in charge after all. It's pretty tough being a leader. Thank you, Junpei. I had fun today. I don't know how you, many you red did? flags just like went up in this conversation, but I saw at least three. It's time for me to go. I'll see you tomorrow, right? And sent you know, one of them is essentially stabbing me in the face. Okay. Chidori left. <laughs> tomorrow, huh? Gosh, you sound like a teenager oh wait. Alright. You are a teenager dipped in hormones. Tomorrow is a full moon. Okay. Anyway, um, <laughs> we don't have anything else we're doing today. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna head over and we're gonna hang out with Akihiko. Yay! 
All right, so we're gonna go ahead and hang out with him since he has something to tell us, ask us. Not sure what's going on here. All right, we're getting some ramen today. Akihiko brought you here, but he seems oddly quiet today. Well, um, how are you? Physically, I mean. Um, you can say anything you want, Hermesy. How about you, senpai? Huh? Oh, I'm all right. Akihiko seems conflicted. It's just that when I watch you fight, I get, I don't know, feel angry. Uh, you can say anything you want. Here, I'm gonna say, what am I doing wrong? Oh no, I didn't mean it that way. Akihiko scratches his head, obviously troubled. It's not so much that I get angry, but I get irritated. No, that's not it either. I guess I get nervous. Uh, you wanna say, do I seem unreliable? No, you're doing a really good, or you're really doing a great job. Akihiko seems kind, or sounds kind. I can't read today, sorry guys. Akahiko <laughs> falls silent. Is, is there any way that you can avoid having to fight? Oh, never mind. sorry. Forget what I just said. I mean, you're trying the hardest out of all of us. I shouldn't have said that to you. Akihiko says. You wanna say either, like one or two here, what's the matter or should I still be the leader? I'm gonna say, what's the matter? Sorry, I'm confused myself. What am I saying? Akihiko seems completely stumped. Hmm. Deep down, I know why I don't want you to be fighting. It's just that I'm worried about you. Akihiko avoids your face and turns towards the ground. You feel like your bond with Akihiko is growing stronger. Uh, that was, was that like a way of telling me that he's got a crush on me? Anyway, we're at rank seven. Come on, eat, eat up. The two of you finish your meal without another word and then walk back to the dorm together. All right, arf arf. All right, <laughs> dog. Tomorrow is finally the day. I'll make sure we win no matter what. All right, so first of all, let's talk to a couple people. I am very confident about tomorrow's operation. What with Shinjiro Kun rejoining us? I have no doubt that we will be victorious. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, but such confidence can only lead to certain failure. While it's true that Shinjiro is quite powerful, he hasn't fought in a very long time. We must we concentrate on the task at hand to perform with flawless execution to win. <sighs> why much, why must you always be such a killjoy? Uh, let's see here, where is Shinjiro? Uh, let's talk to him. Give me space when I'm fighting. My aim's not that great, but if I hit an enemy, it's history. I don't play around. I destroy whatever's in my way. I'm here if you need me. Thank you. Uh, actually, let's do a quick check on him. Uh, he is our newest member. Uh, you can see here that his hit rate up there is 88, uh, so that's a little bit lower. And his persona, <laughs> um, yeah, he, it's Castor. I, I don't want to talk about this now, um, but yeah, his persona looks terrifying, by the way. All right, anyway, um, actually, I wonder if you should probably do some equipment on him. Uh, we'll talk a little bit about him in a minute, so don't worry. Let's talk to some other people. Let's talk to Junpei here. What's up, Katona? Being a hero is so cool. I can't wait until tomorrow, dude. Alrighty then, let's talk to Yukari. I didn't think he could get any dumber, but hey, do you think we could just replace him? I mean, Shinjiro Senpai has joined uh, just joined us, so that's a great idea. Uh, I was just kidding. I don't really want to replace him. I just wish he wasn't so annoying. Uh, and let's talk to I guess. Where is I guess? Ah, there she is. Junpei Song's current status is extreme happiness. I have learned how people describe that state in modern language. He has gone to La La Land. <laughs> Thank you. Um, we're going into. Actually, hang on a second here. Let's watch TV first because I almost forgot. International convention introduced new technology called nuclear. The process is so amazing that people have started calling it nuke or have started to call it nuclear. In today's special report, we investigate what is this nuclear? I don't know what to tell you. Um, Shinjiro Senpai seems scary, but I think he's just misunderstood. I don't think he's a bad guy. I mean, he's good friends with Akihiko Senpai. Well, that's not really what I wanted to do. I wanted to actually go to Tartarus tonight. And this is the day where you need to save the person that's gone missing because you can't do so tomorrow as tomorrow is the full moon, of course. So we're gonna do this. So the first thing I'm gonna do here, and we're not gonna be doing this today, it's because it's gonna take a little bit of time. So you can see here that they're between floors 106 and 111. 
But what I want to do is I actually want to grab a quest while I'm here. So we have this, oh yes, we have this uh, retrieve the shell of a man. We're going to go ahead and we're going to take that. And we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna exit out of here. Now we're gonna be fusing a uh, persona before we leave as well. So don't <laughs> worry about that. Uh, when it comes to people who we're bringing with us, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and bring right. Shinjiro with us this time. Um, we're gonna show him off. Now when it comes to other people, um, let's bring, I guess, and Koromaru as well, because we haven't, have we seen I guess? We've seen I guess. Let's bring the dog. <laughs> And um, I'm just going to be showing off some enemy or like show. Okay, let's bring Ken with us as well. Okay. And we're going to be showing next time we're going to be showing off all of these new members. I don't remember if we bring, uh, brought Koromaru with us or not. Let me go ahead and do a quick rundown of these guys. Uh, let's see. Uh, Shinji has no weaknesses and no strengths, as you can see on his persona. He's a particularly special character in this regard. He uses an axe when he's fighting. Um, we're going to use him for this section so I can show him off, and then I will never use him again. And I'm not going to spoil why that, why that is. Just don't use him very often. Um, focus on your other characters. Uh... Ken here, he's weak to darkness and he's strong against light. Yeah, his uh, persona, his nemesis, kind of an interesting thing. He has uh, a light attack and then uh, electric attack and he learns healing spells. So he's kind of like a minor healing character. Uh, Koromaru, I think I've showed off Cerberus before, but he is um, strong. He actually, he nullifies both fire and darkness and he's weak against light and he uses actually darkness attacks and then he learns uh, fire as well. So that's pretty cool. Now, uh, Koromaru is special because he's a dog, so he has special <laughs> um, like suits and stuff that he can wear. So uh, let me go ahead and make sure that these guys are equipped. I think I've equipped them all except for Shinjiro, um, which I will equip whatever I have best for him right now, but for the most part, I'm not going, I'm gonna be just taking the armor back off of him. So let's go ahead, we'll go ahead and give him the master's garment for now. And we'll go ahead and give him the inline skates. But like I said, when I'm done with him, I'll be taking those off. So, and I like, I'll explain all of that much later in the game. So just, just trust me on this one. So next time we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna rescue the woman and we're going to do the uh, full moon event. So I hope to see you guys next time. Bye.